Hi everybody, it's June 20, 2019. This is an important video that I hope you listen carefully to what this man has to say and then circulate, circulate what he has to say. Though I do need to say that what he claims about the 4G that we are now using, the frequencies coming from cell towers, what he essentially claims um, that, well, it's not damaging, but they don't really know in the long term. That is not true. 1 through 4G, all of it is dangerous, and they knew that this was really dangerous before they started to roll out the cell phones onto the market. I have videos on my channel on playlists uh, that I believe it starts with 5G, then microwaves or Wi-Fi. All of these frequencies are very dangerous and many have already had their lives ruined by these frequencies. So he, he climbed cell towers. And interesting, I believe I posted on my previous channel, it could be on this channel, I can't remember. These guys that are climbing the cell towers are falling down sick, getting cancer at a higher percentage than any anyone else in our population. So I just I needed to clarify what he is saying at the outset of playing this. So listen carefully to what he has to say. So the question of the day. Ian, what do you think about 5G? For those of you that don't know, I'm a tower climber. I climb cell phone towers and install the cellular equipment that allows you to keep scrolling. And I'm currently in 5G training. And uh, I was already concerned about this technology before getting in there and actually learning some of the science about it. So let me give you some of the science about it. The radio frequency that our towers currently emit is non-ionizing radiation with a long footprint over the ground. So it's able to dissipate and spread out. Currently being broadcast anywhere from like 1.5 to 2.5, 2.8 megahertz. All right. Up close, if you if you if you take radio frequency close, it superheats the water molecules in your brain, eyes, and testicles. All right. So that it's a very real thing. You could render yourself sterile or with a splitting headache for days or a I cooked the top of my skull and left me useless for the rest of the day. All right. And that's at short range. At, at a relatively low power. The way 5G is going to work is it is going to broadcast one in gigahertz, not megahertz. We're talking about 30 plus gigahertz they're estimating, which means 15 thousand times stronger than what we're pushing out right now and it's going to actually go at a much much steeper peak it's going to almost be broadcast straight at the ground to hit more receivers that are going to, then going to transmit it outwards right the plan is to install these small cells on the billboards and street lights sides of buildings in the corner of your office building or in the hallway of your apartment complex so that they can get lightning fast speeds Well, here's the thing. The RF that we've been broadcasting isn't really damaging to you, though they can't tell the long-term effects. But because it dissipates over distance and it's not a concentrated thing, the, the radio frequency we're broadcasting now has a really long wave trough. All right? So even if you're getting hit with it, you're not absorbing a lot. That's why I, if I take it close range, I eat it, but you don't feel it down off the tower. It's not going to be that way with 5G. 
It's going to be in the corner of your office. They're talking about putting a 38 band MIMO antenna in the back of every car so that they can talk to each other and self drive. Now, the 5G, its waveform is much tighter, where 4G, 3G, and 2G have fairly long wave troughs so that we can reach distances and have a greater footprint coming off the tower. It's not necessary with 5G. It's going, to be, it's going to be broadcasting what's called a millimeter wave, which is much more tightly focused with much closer wave troughs. So when it does hit, you just get blasted. And it's not miles away, hundreds of feet up on a tower anymore. It's in the corner of your office. Which means that this millimeter wave is going to be able to directly affect the cellular membranes, the bonds that hold your cells together. It's going to be in your face. It's going to be behind the back seat where your car seats are. So I mean, not to mention what it's going to do to your brain and your eyes and your testicles or ovaries just from the superheating that radio frequency will do at a close range. But because it is so powerful, so compact and tightly beamed, it is literally going to be able to break down the bonds that hold your cells together. And that's how you get tumors. The rub of it is, America, that you're not going to know what I did to you for another 15, 20 years. And by then it's going to be too fucking late. It already is. They've got trillions tied up in this 5G push. People are screaming for faster phones. Everybody wants to be able to scroll at the speed of light. There's no stopping it. And what am I going to do, right? This is my job. You know, hey, I got kids to take care of. I got my own chemo treatments 30 years from now that I'm going to have to deal with. So yeah, I'm going to install it. But America, I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm fixing to pull your feelings out for the gold before I put you in a gas chamber. America doesn't care. They want faster phones. You carry eventually and it'll be too late. But God bless you. God bless America. I wish you the best. Feel free to name your tumor after me. I'm real sorry about what it's fixing to do to the babies. Hey. Little fetuses that are developing in utero, surrounded by water. The consequences to the next generation are untold. I'm not even talking about what we're fixing to do to our own vision, our own reproductive organs, our own cognitive abilities. I'm not talking about the breakdown of our cellular bonds that are going to lead to tumor growth. I'm talking about what it's going to do to the little baby brains and eyes that are trying to develop in the womb. What we're fixing to do to toddlers and infants that are born that are still developing, man. So the question of the day is, Ian, what do you think about 5G? I'm frightened and saddened because I'm going to install this I'm going to install it everywhere. And you are all going to feel the effects of what I've done to you. Wow. Okay. Ah, come on. Sorry. That's the problem with videos just coming right on up. All right. So, there you have it. I feel for this guy. He's very conflicted, which means he's aware of what he is doing to everyone, but he's going to keep doing it because he's got to get that paycheck. I think that this guy is uh, one step closer to perhaps 
pulling out of his job and maybe getting another job, then most Americans who refuse to acknowledge the evil that they commit every single day getting a paycheck because the paycheck is what keeps people committing evil. Now, a lot of people don't like the word evil, but evil does exist. You know, you can, you can substitute the word evil for immoral acts, uh, immoral behavior, bad behavior, wrong behavior. Doing wrong to get your paycheck to remain comfortable. That is our biggest problem. No, the police and the military are not the only order followers. We've got order followers all over. And they take their orders. Their order is you show up Monday morning through Friday. You work 8, 10, 12, 14 hours committing wrong, committing e evil just to get your paycheck. And I understand the bind. And I, I, could, I could actually have, I get what this guy's going through. He doesn't, he doesn't want to be doing what he's doing, but he's going to do it. And he's honest enough to tell you. You can name your tumor after me. Now, what he's not saying, and I'm not saying that he is lying or um, omitting information, that he has, but he doesn't want to say it. 4G. How many people are coming down with cancer from 4G? So, uh, sterility, 4G, Wi-Fi. And men, your testicles are the most sensitive organ out there. And the eyes and the brain. These frequencies cross the blood-brain barrier. So what we are doing is killing ourselves. Now, a lot of people might have the reaction, oh my God, I can't believe that this guy is going to continue to climb that tower or continue to install 5G cells all over the place. How dare he? How many people know what 4G has been doing to us? How many of you have a smartphone and you haven't gotten rid of it? How many of you know that you are, you have made your home environment a dangerous environment for you, for your children? Because you won't get rid of Wi-Fi, but you know the dangers of Wi-Fi. The psyche, the individual psyche, is a very important aspect of this nightmare that we are living. If you continue to have a smartphone, you continue to have that Wi-Fi operating in your home, then He's the one installing it, but you're the one who's saying, well, I don't care about my health. He doesn't care about your health. You don't care about your health. We have to start caring here. And that involves a lot of facing yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, why do I still have a smartphone when I know the dangers of this smartphone? When I know that it can give me cancer, when I know that it can do an awful lot to me, my, my physical health, my mental health, my emotional health, it's damaging it all. They can literally make me anxious, depressed, angry, just by using that smartphone. Why have I not gotten rid of Wi-Fi? 
How is it that I don't care about my own health? How is it that I don't care about my own children's health? Why is it that I have children, I send them off to a public school with cell towers on the environment of the school, on the property, school property, and I'm, I am, from Monday through Friday, sticking my kids into a public school where Wi-Fi is shooting out very dangerous frequencies in classrooms all over the school, and I permit my child to sit in that environment. Why are teachers who know that Wi-Fi is dangerous? Why do they continue to go to those buildings Monday through Friday and subject their own physical health to a danger? But why then do those teachers show up and they do nothing, nothing, when they know that the children that they are teaching are sitting in a dangerous environment getting blasted with Wi-Fi? See, so many people have gone, oh my God, 5G, 5G, oh my God, that's going to kill us. That's good. No, 4G and 3G and 2G and 1G has also been incredibly dangerous. So, you know, I understand, okay, the smartphone and I can access YouTube videos and I don't have a computer or I do have a computer, but the smartphone, I can listen to it at work. I can listen to YouTube videos during the day. That's all a justification that you're using. You still don't care about your own health. So why should he? He says it. Everybody wants to be able to scroll faster. We're all in this. We are all culpable. And if you do not opt out of this system, then you're just as culpable as he is. So don't get angry when you fall sick because you're doing it to yourself. I want to also share a video with you. Being groomed. This is amazing Polly. You are being groomed. And you are being groomed. Your smartphones and those apps and the iPhones. And I know because I've met a whole lot of subscribers. They know how dangerous it is, but they keep holding that smartphone maybe 10 inches away from their face and they keep using it. You know, you have to look at what you're doing and how you are living. But this is a very good video. And I also want to thank uh, the subscriber who linked to this below. You need to listen to what she has to say very carefully. And yes, I don't have a smartphone or an iPhone. Uh, I'm not sitting in Wi-Fi. Uh, I have reduced my exposure to... Uh, I can't reduce it anymore. I have a flip-top phone. I put it on speaker. I hold it away from me. I. I know the danger. I know what it's done to my life. And if it hasn't affected you yet, well, you don't know because you're not feeling these frequencies. But it is affecting you. When he says that 5G is going to affect every cell membrane in your body, that's what 4G does. So many have been rendered disabled, non-functional. Their lives have become an utter nightmare of just trying to get through the day with 4G. So 5G, so many more are going to be toppling over at a greater speed. But everyone is affected. Just because you feel fine now doesn't mean you are not experiencing 
changes in your body and eventually you become symptomatic. The cumulative effect is very real. This is killing us. It is killing us. Killing us. And what is really surprising is to see how many Americans are truly suicidal. They do not care about their own health. They do not care about their children's health. And they are subjecting themselves on a daily basis to something incredibly dangerous, something that is killing them slowly. They don't care. That is the definition of being suicidal. So I will link below to both videos and please circulate this information. Thank you.